shutter. All right, salam alaikum to Allah, barakatuh. I um, wanted to just talk a little bit about an ayah in this Quranic Gems number three. Have you ever felt alone before? Like legitimately alone, like you're going through something that's really hard and so difficult that you're looking at it thinking, wow, like I'm alone. Uh, there's no one going through this at all. There's no one that's going through what I'm going through. Um, there's no one who understands me. There's no one, and a lot of people feel like that. Now, <clears throat> interestingly enough, with all the technology that we have, there are people who really feel like that, like th that they're completely alone. Well, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said something to us in surah number two, where he says after we say, أَعُوذُ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ وَإِذَا سَأَلَكَ عِبَادِهِ عَنِّي فَإِنِّي قَرِيبٌ أُجِيبُ دَعْوَةَ الدَّاعِ إِذَا دَعَانِ فَلْيَسْتَجِيبُوا لِي وَلْيُؤْمِنُوا بِي لَعَلَّهُمْ يَرْشُدُونَ When my servant asks about me, I am near to them. SubhanAllah, if you, if you think about the power of Allah being something distant, because we know, Ar-Rahman wa ala al-Arsh istawa, but Allah's power is fa'inni qareeb, that Allah has His power all surrounding you, like it's everywhere. His power is everywhere. His eyesight, His vision is everywhere. His hearing is everywhere. His quwa is everywhere. His qadr wal qada is everywhere. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has surrounded you, you yourself. Don't look at it like someone else. Look at you yourself. Has surrounded you with His mercy and His wisdom and His forgiveness and His compassion. He has surrounded you with that. Even though we know that we're not deserving of it, Allah still gives it to us. And He created you and He knows best as to what you're going through. Because a lot of people don't understand that Believing in a higher intelligence is that. That intelligence is higher. And this is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who knows everything. Al Alim. So, yes, whatever it is you're going through, whether it is a divorce, whether it is an illness, whether it is anything. So, He's telling you, even though He's near to you, He answers the call when you, when you call Him. He answers that prayer. You know, may Allah make all of your situations easy. So let them let them ask me. Let them believe in me. That they might be rightly guided. Because I keep telling y'all on my page that problems have two things in common. Number one, they could always be worse. Number two, they will not be forever. So when you hear that ayah, next time, inshallah, reflect on that. And I'll read it once more and I'll close. وَإِذَا سَأَلَكَ عِبَادِي وَإِذَا سَأَلَكَ عِبَادِي عَنِّي فَإِنِّي قَرِيبٌ أُجِيبُ دَعْوَةَ الدَّاعِ إِذَا دَعَانِ فَلْيَسْتَجِيبُوا لِي وَلْيُؤْمِنُوا بِي لَعَلَّهُمْ يَرْشُدُونَ That'll be it <coughs> for Quranic Gems. You see the fundraising links there. Please support the page, support these programs, and let's keep doing this and make them better because... Uh, if we have more, we can do more, you know, and it won't be just me talking to a laptop surrounded by ants. <laughs> There's ants in my house. It's unbelievable. I don't like that. Anyway, <laughs> click, click donate. GoFundMe is there. PayPal is there. Take care. Stay blessed. And if you can't donate, then click like and share, you know, like everybody can do something, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh.